Hello, my name is Steve Bowler, and welcome to the Juniper Border Gateway Protocol, BGP, lab number seven. In this lab, we're going to take a look at the BGP attribute known as the local preference. We're going to show you how you can set up the local preference within your BGP configuration, how you would properly use it, when you would want to use it, and why you would want to use it. We're going to also show you some show commands for verification, and we're going to do some trace routes as well. So if this network topology and network diagram look familiar, that is because we used the same network topology and diagram in our BGP labs 5 and 6. So if this is new to you, and this is your, your first time seeing this network diagram, I'm going to go ahead and brief, do a brief summary. We are using logical systems, and then we are connecting all of these routers together via logical tunnels. We have six routers in this network topology. Router 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. If you're not familiar with logical systems, I would suggest that you watch my logical systems Juniper labs to get a good solid foundation on how they work. Logical systems allow you to, within one physical Juniper router, break it up into virtual routers and what we can do is what I'm doing for training purposes is I'm going to run BGP and I have a, uh, a network here so it allows you to run routing protocols between your logical systems and then you're going to connect your logical systems together with logical tunnels so logical systems are really cool they're kind of like having virtual routers within one physical Juniper router we're using the logical tunnel interface to connect logical systems. You can also use the EM interface option as well. And all of our logical tunnel interfaces in this network diagram are represented by LT120.xx. For instance, on router 6, the connection between router 6 and router 4 is LT120 dot 64. The IP addressing is as follows. Router 1 is for all of its interfaces are the dot 1's. Router 3 is the dot 3's. Router 5 is the dot 5's and so on. We have loopbacks on router 6 and router 1. Router 6 is loopback 0 dot 6 in which we are in which we have assigned the 6 and 66 networks both of those slash 24's and router 1 is loopback 0 dot 1 with the 1 and 11 network, both of